Welcome to this tutorial we're going to do on text edit. Uh, I choose to do this program because I think it's a really misunderstood program with a lot of depth. Uh, you know, there's a lot going for it a lot of, that I think most nobody understands. So here's text edit. Um, it's a word processor, but it can also do anything up to, uh, you know, complex animations, music production. Uh, design you know there's a there's a, a plethora of possibilities so let's start at the top literally we have our styles default bold italic outline shadowed struck through and underline other you know anything in this program that says other really is just you know a query for code and and really complicated uh, things that you don't as a, as a beginner user you don't need to bother yourself with so other let's let's leave other alone I mean it's just far too complex uh, we can align things to the left to the center justifying to the right now justify is also it's just uh, it's unnecessary it was a pointless addition to text edit you know in the older version of text edit they didn't have it see if we go to the about uh, we can see that this is text at 1.5 in 1.4 there was no justify and for the better so it's really just you know all over the forums nobody understands why justify is there but we can test it out I mean, say uh, spacing single and double now spacing is actually a pretty you know depthful algorithm what it does is it takes your your let's say you have uh, two well, well let's let's type some text out and I'll, uh, I'll we'll use that as an example uh, Neil Baronblatt.com is the greatest site ever and then some okay now I want you to notice before we get back up to spacing what I did this is a great feature text edit uh, they decided to put in text edit. It's by Apple. Um, if you mess up, like NeilBarnblood.com is the greatest site ever, and then some, ooh, whoops, I made some typos there. So if we wanted to to correct ourselves, we can. Uh, they actually put in text edit a pretty handy function to where you can actually backspace and retype your word. So now we can have neilbarenblatt.com is the greatest site ever, and then some. And we can also, if you put on the caps key, uh, make it just all capitalized. It's pretty. It's looking. It's looking pretty fancy at this point. Um, so let me get back to spacing. So the way that spacing works is, it let's say, see how we only have one line here. Well, if we wanted to take that extra step and have two lines of text, it could, it could essentially create more space between each line of text but you really don't want to do that because it's really demanding of your computer's hardware and it really just it bogs your computer down I mean it's a it's a it uses a lot of your RAM so you really want to just stick to single uh, make sure single is checked we can try double um, so, you know, we press return or enter to get to the next space, and we can say all other sites are made by pansies. Okay, so the way you do spacing, if you were ever so inclined, is to select everything and press double. Now you can see it creates an extra space up here uh, that might be undesired, or not desired, undesirable, but you know that's maybe another reason why you just don't want to use double spacing. You just want normal. And again, other right here, uh, an another query for code. It just you know, it's a lot of JavaScript and uh, uh, PHP to get that code for other. Don't need to worry about it. Um, if you're the kind of person who likes lists. You can do lists, like let's say I selected all of this, and bam, one sentence, two sentences, just like that. We can change that by going to ABC, now we have AB, it's pretty nifty, it's uh, you know, 
it helps if you're making lists. It's pretty that one's self-explanatory. Everything else is a little, you know, complicated. Don't worry about these. Don't worry about these. Um, one last thing I want to go over is let's say we have just text lines and lines of text. You can see over here that it makes this bar and you can actually scroll up and down. You don't have to see I know we're all we all know that in old text editors you would have to stop here, save and then make a new document. And you really don't have to do that anymore with the new functionality of the scroll bar. So, you can just keep typing as much as you want. And it will uh, essentially scroll. And so that, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Text edit's a really cool, nifty, awesome program. You can even save, and I want to leave that up to y'all, kind of homework. So have at it, have fun. Text edit by Apple. This has been Neil Barenblatt with a Neil Barenblatt tutorial.